Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are back with day two of our craft challenge that we had set by one of you guys. So um, if you've missed any of my videos, maybe you're new here, welcome to my channel. Last week I opened all four of the Hunky Dory goodie boxes that I picked up. If you haven't seen them, please do head over to my channel. Um, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Hunky Dory had some goodie boxes. They were £30 each with a minimum of £80 worth of product in them. I absolutely love them. I opened them. We got some fantastic items. Now, one of the claims that they make is that this is 110% craftable. And I asked if anybody wanted to see me making things out of them. And I was challenged by Shelley. And the challenge is working through each of the four goodie boxes to make three cards per goodie box i can use some of my own basic supplies so things like my um card blanks and my adhesives try to use each item if i can but i can only use each item once so i need to try and make a few different cards i made the uh, cards out of box one yesterday and today we have got box two now i can't entirely remember what is in box two so let's have a quick look what we're going to be trying to use so we've got a sheet of the by land sea and air this is the start your engines toppers we've got the butterfly blush deluxe craft pad i think i am going to try and make a card out of this because this seemed to be everybody's favorite and i must admit it is absolutely stunning we've got the moonstone die this is in the box now i am going to make this up i don't think i'm going to do it today um i want to do a separate video on this box and have a go at doing it um separately so i am going to pop that to one side i'm not going to do that but it will be coming we've got a hydrangea set of stamps some double-sided tape we've got the hello spring little book of we've got the essential paper packs and the galaxy dreams uh wild about you decollage set uh rainbow of flowers card set we've got the moonlight fairies card set and we have the Aperture card kit in this box. So I'm throwing that box away because everything's going to go onto my shelves now um, as I work my way through them. So what can we use? Definitely going to do a card out of that. Oh, I just don't know. Um, let's have a look at this. This, this, this is a kit. Let's have a look. Let's take a card out of these. So this is the framed florals aperture card kit. This has some of the card ideas that we can do. So some of them have done the actual aperture, like that one there and that one there. Look. Then others have taken these extra toppers by the looks of it. Those are the envelopes. So we've got these are the aperture cards. I mean, they're so beautiful, aren't they? Let's be honest. And we've got a couple of sheets of toppers, and then we've got some more of the aperture cards here as well. So I think I'm just going to make one of the apertures. I think that'll be quite nice. We've got quite a few of the sentiments along the bottom. And I'm just going to grab the first one. So we'll just make this little one. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Just look at that. So, and I think I'm going to use this sentiment on it. Might add some little gems as well. So we'll pop these all away such an easy kit this one you're going to make i think it's eight cards out of this and that's just eight cards if you just use your aperture card bases so that doesn't then take into consideration any of the additional toppers that are on those sheets 
but you can definitely use with other card lengths. So pop those away. And that will use this kit here. So I am just going to go round everything as always. I just like to give it a little bit of a trim just to get rid of the little notches. Now these must also be die cut because although these have come like pre to size, they do actually have the little little notches on them like a die cut piece would have. that up a little bit and then we're going to pop this through there we go and I'm just going to give this inside a little bit of a trim score lines in there so we can fold that in half like so then I don't want this out of frame so I'm just going to get rid of this I'll pop it into my scrap basket because that can always be used for something later on So we've got the little topper, so I'm going to grab my foam tape, I'm going to pop it on some foam tape and I'll use my wet glue as well. So let's get this stuck down. Then make sure you've got it the right way. Just gonna really need to find my bone fold of it. This is doing the job. So we're gonna try and get this into the center of here. So fold your card, line it up. There we go. So that is how they look. And then I'm going to take this. And pop a little bit of foam tape on this. I'll put that on the wrong way. And I'll put this down here like so so that it looks like that and then i think i want to pop some little gems on so what have i got in my box Maybe. so these are ones that i've already got these are extras
I'm going to go for the little ones. So let me grab my tweezers if I can find them. I've got these ones but they're not my favourite. They're a bit too strong I think. Something's flying. to put the lid off the glue first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of glue, just so I know that it's going to stick nicely. So that's one. I'm going to stick to these. Two. Anybody else find these really hard to use or is it just me? Maybe it just takes a bit of practice. I cannot get that one at all. Oh, I've got glue on my finger. Hi, hi, hi. One, two, and three. There we go, that's what you need for those. How pretty is that gorgeous aperture card? so so pretty i absolutely love them right so that's the first card we'll pop that over there to dry then what do we do next so let's take a look so we've used the float framed i keep wanting to call it flamed we've used the framed florals kit now so what else have we got in here really like this moonlight fairies i think that's pretty so so pretty i'm wondering if i can match those up actually might be able to match those two together to make a card Let's have a look. possibly that blue one there what do we think yeah, I think we can match those together. I'm actually tempted to buy this kit. I know I shouldn't, I don't, I really don't need to buy anything at all, but I think this is so pretty. I'm very, very torn and, and considering buying it. Uh, so what have we got on here? So we've got four gorgeous toppers. We've got two big ones and we've got two of the little ones. I think they'd all work. Um, I think I might go for a small, smaller card, not a small card, but a smaller card. I think that'd be perfect for the bigger toppers. I think I'm going to go for this topper here. And I think I'm going to use, um, yeah, I think I'm going to use this topper, this one here. And I think I'm going to use this piece of card. So, let me drop these back in here. And 
think I want to match it with this blue one here. I think those would go quite nicely. That would be possibly too contrasting, maybe. Uh, that's the blue one. I don't want the yellow into green. I don't think I want the pink. No, I'm going to go with the blue. The one that initially caught my eye. So that then also uses some of this Galaxy Greens. this on a 5 by 5 this is a 5 by 5 white card going to grab my black pen so these are black foiled so they have the black edging but they're actually done on white core cardstock and I don't like that you can see the white edge sometimes so I just go round it with a pen um, I've got a couple that are like this and I do the same with those as well can use like a black sharpie if you've got black sharpie i don't <sighs> so i'm gonna just grab my black alcohol ink pen from my pack of marcus just one second there we go so this is just out of my pens it's nothing fancy it's just some that i picked up from I think it's amazon But all I'm doing is just going around the edge and getting rid of that white that you get from the core cardstock. There we go. It just look, I don't even know if you can tell the difference, but I can. It just looks a lot better. I'll do the same with this one. So I don't know. That's the little bit I've just done. That is where I haven't done yet. Maybe it's all in my head, but I just, I don't know. There we go. So I've just edged those. Right, now we'll start to cut these, this cardstock down. So I'm going to grab my cutter. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually measure my card blank. Because they're not always exact. Just under five. By just under five. So, I'm going to do these at roughly there. So, that's going to give me a nice little board around the outside. And then I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to try and come in roughly another quarter of an inch. Like so. That then I 
that'll sit nicely on that. And that should then sit nicely onto my cart like wherever I have put it. Just like so. That's how that card's going to look. And then we have the fairy. And we have the sentiment. I like that. And then while I was getting my black pen, I also picked out these. These are the diamond sparkles. They are the aurora borealis i think they're going to be quite pretty on this one too so let's move this out of the way and start layering up this card A little bit of wet glue. I want a top four card for this one. So I'm going to put this on here. Don't worry about us being able to see where that glue is. Once I get this next layer on, that will be hidden behind that. So it'll be okay. It's the only thing about using wet glue with thin papers. Cardstock is a lot more forgiving. I think I might actually have that on the bottom, so this on here there we go. That's those, and then I am going to lift these up onto a little bit of foam tape. And I've actually got, if they're any good, I'm not sure. I can always put some wet glue on them. These came from my John Eastwood haul, and I've no idea how old they are, but they are black edged, so. Still got a bit of stick to them. So I'm going to put some of these in. Just so it matches with the black theme. So I'm going to do the same with this. Fairy at the bottom. Wishing you a magical day. Like so. And then we've got these. I 
don't know where my normal tweezers have gone. Which is annoying. It's fine. Um I go for a couple of these medium sized ones. Just think these are quite pretty. Here we go. I'm gonna put one down here. go that is the fairy moonlight fairy is it the moonlight fairy card so we've used the moonlight fairy card kit and then we've used a sheet of the galaxy dreams papers so that's used up two of the items and then i'm gonna have to use this i've got to use this butterfly blush pad so beautiful and everybody said that this was their favourite. Let's have a look. Is there any inspiration on the front I can maybe go at? It's quite a pretty car but so is that one. I like that one but how would that fit in an envelope? You'd have to make a custom envelope for that. I do really like these, they are pretty. Just look at that foiling. That's what I think that's what's got everybody that beautiful pink foiling. That's pretty. Let's go for this one. Go for that one. We are going to go for that one. Thank you for being you. Then I'm going to go for the matching card stock. And I want for this card too, so try not to catch it. I'm going to go for the foiled cardstock that matches. Oh, there we go. And the non foiled, I can't work out which is which. With the teapot on, teapot. This one. In fact, no. Hold on. Change my mind. Sorry, guys. You'll get used to me. going to use one of the inserts instead but I just find them quite plain their inserts I don't know they're not my favorite I'll say that so I've taken some of those bits and pieces out and I think I'm going to be making a five by seven card with this one just because of the size of that topper so five by seven do my favourite 
hard design where I cut the front. It's quite big. Yeah, there we are. We're going to do that one. So, I'm going to grab my cutter. And measure my car blank first. These are usually pretty good, I think. Yeah, that one's five. By seven, it's dead on five by seven. So I'm going to open up my card and I'm going to cut this dead in half. So now the measurements are five by seven on the back, two and a half by seven on the front. That piece I've just cut off, I always keep because they come in handy for um, stamping. So I'm going to take this. So I came in two and a half, so I'm going to come in at two and a quarter, which is actually there. and a quarter for that front panel then I know this is going to be too big so right there There we go, so I've still got my gorgeous pink foiling and that panel is going to fit perfectly onto the front like so. So we have that on the front like that. Beautiful. And then I'm going to take this panel. And we're going to come in at four and a quarter. Uh, sorry, four and three quarters. Like so, and then we're going to have to trim some of this off. So, let's come in at that. And then, in at that. There we go. Then that panel is going to sit just on the inside of our card so it's going to roughly look like that and then we're going to have our topper on the front let's so move that out of the way I don't need that anymore put those bits and pieces over there so maybe this trim up I'm going to use that one. I'm not going to use the hot pink one on this particular card. But I'm going to pop it to one side because you never know when it might come in. sit like so the frame on there like so modify picture in there and then that one what do we think 
I like it. I like it. So let's start gluing this down. On in there like so. Just make sure if you've got anything directional like this one that it is incorrect. down as well remember to only put glue on the half that's going to actually be sticking So it's that one. Same again for the butterfly. Thank you for being you. And then I'm going to just pop a couple of these on, I think, as well. Um, I'll go for some of the little ones. I wish I'd got my tweezers. them after this one I've got three pairs I'm gonna put one of these on here put one near the bottom here And then that one's going there because it landed there. There we go. <laughs> we'll go with that. That's okay. So then that is that gorgeous card. So when they open it up, well, open it up, they've then got all of this space here to be able to write their message to their loved one. I love that style of card. I think it's so pretty. Um, and that's my three cards. But there is so much more that you can make out of this kit. So much more. Um, I barely scratched the surface, which is the same as what happened on the last box. Barely scratched the surface with what you can do with these. Um, again, another three beautiful cards. Um, this box in particular is probably one of the bigger boxes because you have this little book of. Um, if people haven't seen these, you get 120 spring themed images. The little books do tend to have 120. Um, and literally you can make 120 cards out of this, take a book of this, 
a pack of the perfect sized mirror mats pop those onto i think it's a five by seven card that they fit onto yeah they do look but there's probably a better size um yes and you can make 120 cards with nothing else nothing else whatsoever needed just that um but then we've got the kits we've got the stamps we've got the dies um so this was a really really good box so that is my three cards out of box number two please continue to follow my channel as we go through box number three and box number four hopefully it will give you a little bit of inspiration of what you can do because there is just so much in these goodie boxes it's unbelievable thank you so much for joining me here today i hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. Bye for now.